Hi, this is Dr. Jerome Fryer, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about instability and what that means to the spine. Each vertebrae is connected by an intervertebral disc and an adjacent vertebrae. These, of course, cause and allow movement between each vertebrae. What happens to the disc sometimes is they become a little bit unstable or they don't hold their support very well. And that most often occurs when there's a radial tear, outward in a radial fashion, of the annulus, which you can see here with the nerves that grow in on the outer third of the annulus, which is the disc. And what happens is the nucleus, which is in the middle of this disc, will push back up and wedge that open. And if it goes too far, of course, you develop a disc herniation, which is demonstrated under load here. But instability doesn't always go along with disc herniation. So just to describe instability, you can see that each motion segment in a spine will have the same basic uh, ability to resist compression and to allow free motion in a, in a very similar way. So each disc should behave or should move similarly. But what happens when there's tears that develop, that causes one vertebrae to slide. You can see here, see how that top one moves a little bit more, see that? So that causes one vertebrae to slip around a little bit more. And what that can do is it can cause translation. So when it hurts when you bend forward or when you come back, for example, that can be a little bit unstable. One of the clues that I look for in a patient's history is whether or not they have pain after prolonged sitting or if they're bending forward for an extended period of time and when they go to get up, they can feel a little catch. That's often the facets rubbing against one another. With this model, you can see actually there's a, there's a spondylolisthesis. So you can see this top vertebrae here moves a little bit more than the other one. And that can cause these facets to touch and become irritated. So I hope that's helpful in understanding instability.